I noticed when uh, when Kristen Davis came into the Zoom, I, I tried to fix my hair. It was nice. Yeah, just because we have company, <laughs> we have a guest. Yeah. And I realized yeah, yeah. Yeah. I realized I messed it up. We're like, oh, she's here. I was like, she's here. She looks great, and my hair is a disaster. No, Ryan, so is beautiful. Nice. Oh, oh your gosh. hair looks luscious. Are you kidding yeah. me? L luscious, yes. Thank it's you. It's luscious, baby. It is luscious. Well, it's so great to see you. How are you thank doing? Thank you. You too. I'm doing great. My parents were here for spring break, and then you know, California lockdown. So right. it really was to my benefit and got me through because I have two kids, you know, I'm a single mom. So, wow. I don't know what I would have done without, without them. And how old are your yeah. kids now? My kids are eight and two. Oh my Woo! gosh. Two. Oh. I have two year old twins. So I feel you. I have a buddy who, uh, who I, who's a really good friend of mine who called me during this quarantine to vent a little bit. And he, he, I could tell he was with his wife in the room. He's like, Oh yeah, we're just, you know, we got our, our kids and we're just playing with our kids. And then he walked into the other room and he's like, don't have kids. <laughs> don't do it. I would never say that. But I mean, look, quarantine and, and isolation is not exactly what you plan for. Right. So like my eight year old is kind of like, what's wrong with him? And I'm like, honey, you're not home all day long. You don't know yeah. what goes on with your brother. I mean, two and a half teething. It's a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. It's a lot. And you're taking on this, uh, this new project, which mm -hmm. I, I really want to understand this. So you are okay. going to be doing Labor of Love. That is tonight, yes. 9, 8 Central on Fox. What's the concept? Okay. The concept is that we wanted to investigate what it's like to be a woman. That was our starting off point. It was me and a bunch of other women producers talking for years, literally, Ryan, about this. Okay. What it's like to be a successful woman and suddenly you wake up and you're over 35 and you haven't found the right person to have a baby with, but you really want to have a baby. And we all know we have a biological clock as a woman and we need to honor that and uh, get, get going with that project if that's what you want to do. Right. So uh, we met a wonderful woman, Christy Katzman. She's 41 and she really already wanted to have a baby, was already on that journey um, in different ways to try to find uh, how she would do that if she would do it alone, but she really wanted to find a, a love connection and a partner in that journey. And so we try to satisfy that need. We searched the country for a year and a half to find 15 men that uh, we had a list from her about what she wanted. And uh, they're successful. They are also men who have been focused on their career, haven't had their children yet, really wish that they had had children. So they're at the same place as Christy. That was paramount of importance to us that they be already there. Right. And then we challenge those men every week in different ways to see if they're actually ready and how good of a partner and parent they would be. And wow. how do you evaluate uh, how good of a partner <laughs> they may be in the creative process here? Well, it's not easy, obviously. As we yeah. all know, any of us who, who date, <laughs> which is, yes. you know, everyone at some point. But we, we do some creative stuff. Like um, one of my favorites, well, there's one that involves a bear. <laughs> okay and it's really funny and good and it's about kind of your um like who are you going to protect first yourself or christy do you know right and you can't really test that unless you surprise them and so we do we do actually end up it worked we went out in the woods we were shooting atlanta we went out in the woods to spend the night it was quite something it was cool <laughs> And every time I watch that episode, cool. I laugh till I cry. You I'm know? so into this. This is and, and so 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 it, the winner, the the man, uh, uh -huh. then they they get intimate. Is that the, you the know, finale? You know, it's really up to them. No, <laughs> what happens? No. Well, they're no. trying to have a family, right? Well, I well yes, it's a valid theory. question. It's not, it's not like um. Oh, you don't do that in the finale, like the last, like a live episode of. All right, let's. Try for kids yeah. now. <laughs> like a fantasy no, suite. no, okay, no, I'm not going to say what we do in the finale because that would be giving stuff away, wouldn't it? But we, we try to set up the situation so that they can then go into life and try to figure it out themselves. It's really, and I can't, I can't say. Yeah, it's really interesting. I'm happy you're hosting this. Did you have fun hosting? Thank it? you. Oh my gosh, so much fun, so much fun. My favorite part was going into the back. You know all about this, Brian, but you know the cameras never turn off, right? It's crazy. 
And right. you, we had, we set up, we were in these two houses in Atlanta. Christy and I are in one house and the men are in this other house. And in the garage, we set up all the cameras to watch the men. Oh, so you yeah. could go get back. Oh, it was so amazing. Like to be a fly on the wall, you know, just a huge bank of cameras of these 15 guys. And the guys really bond, like they're fascinating guys and they cry and they have all kinds of emotion. And, oh, I was, I learned a lot. My gosh. Do you remember that yeah. movie Sliver? I think one of the Baldwins was in it and he sat in a room and he had, <gasps> he had cameras all over the apartment building yes. and he was, he was watching yes. all the people. It's a yes. fascinating. Sharon Stone, right? I, Sharon I think Stone so. Yeah. I think yes. she was yes. in that too. Yes. Fascinating yes. experiment. It's not quite that it's not quite like that. Come on. <laughs> no one dies, okay? Uh, uh, okay, just checking. Uh, <laughs> check this out. Labor of Love tonight, 9, 8 Central on Fox. Kristen Davis, so happy to see you. And hey, take care of yourself. You. Thank you, you too. Say hi to your parents. Bye. I will. Okay, bye. 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 She's the best, right? That's Charlotte. Oh, my God. She's the best. She, the but she, she looks amazing. Amazing. Love right. her energy. I can't wait to watch this show. It looks phenomenal. Sounds phenomenal. Should I have auditioned to be on that show? As a, one of the no. contestants? Is that your next step? Is that what you want? What, 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 why the allergic reaction there? <laughs> I have questions. And mine wasn't an allergic reaction. It was more like, is that your next step? Is that what you want? What? what? So it was one of the criteria for you to be on the show. Which criteria? That next step of having children. Yeah, bad idea. All right. Yeah. Three things <laughs> you need you. to know. I, I just like hanging out with Kristen. Three things you need to know next. <laughs>